Karen Delicia was my friend. She was your friend. Karen was everyone's friend, even if you didn't know her. How do we describe Karen DeLucci? Words like unshakable, fortitude, warrior, and my favorite, grit, come to mind. She applied these traits to all of her pursuits. It is hard to frame Karen into just one role. She was a public servant, an attorney, a wife, a mother, and a friend. I knew Karen best in her role as public servant. Even still, that feels inadequate to fully capture the essence of who she was. Karen DeLucci, attorney at law, had a purpose. She was the founding member of the Independence award-winning youth court. She was appointed by Governor Carnahan to reinvent and redesign Missouri's family court system, which has helped change the lives of thousands of Missourians. Karen believed in honest arguments and hearing other people's views. She understood that if we get in the habit of bending the truth to suit our political will, our democracy is at risk. She committed herself to better government. She held the line when others wouldn't. She fought for justice in City Hall to her last breath, and she loved every minute of it. Other residents saw Karen as being most responsive to their concerns. She spoke up for the little guy, forgotten people in forgotten places. This combination of courage and decency led Karen to confront policies and practices she believed were unbecoming of her beloved city. Most of all, Karen loved her family. She was so proud to be married to Joe O'Hara, also her law partner. Her children, Mary Rose and Tommy, could do no wrong even when they did. Her memory lives on in her sisters, Patty and Mary. And now we have to do this without her. We have to work, love, and play in independence without Karen DeLucci. When Karen spoke of virtues like service and duty, it didn't ring hollow to her. They weren't just words to her. It was a truth that she lived by. The world is smaller for her departure and we will remember her as she was, unwavering, undimmed, and unequaled. Karen would tell us not to be sad, but to get to work. Just make sure to leave some time at the end of the day for just one more beer.